Damien Johnson still hasn't recovered from the hamstring injury he suffered against Aston Villa, so Oliver Tebberley continues to fend off competition from Jeff Kenner for the right-back spot. Robbie Savage has had a full week's training, but his Achilles is still sore, so having rushed him back for the match against Villa here, Steve Bruce is desperate not to make the same mistake again, and Aliou Cisse continues to deputise. Well, this marvellous defensive record owes plenty to the likes of Kenny Cunningham and Matthew Upson at centre-half, but the team as a whole defends with a lot of discipline. Steve Bruce will be very disappointed that Savage didn't make it tonight. Jason Yule, who missed their best chances, keeps his place up front with Jonathan Johansson. Kevin Lisby, on his way back from a knee injury, only makes the bench. Mark Fish has recovered from injury, which is just as well in the defence, already missing Luke Young, Gary Rowett and Richard Rufus. Well, this defence and midfield has got a fairly settled look to it. Alan Kirbishley has made a slight adjustment in midfield of late, moving Matty Holland over to the right and bringing Klaus Jensen into the middle. And it's worked an absolute... The two goals that Birmingham let in against Fulham came when Cunningham was suspended. The three they conceded to Manchester United came in the wake of Taylor's sending off. Stan Lazaridis. Shishev under pressure from Dugarry. Now Lazaridis for a sell-up to his right. Dunphy did a cross, he tests the... Here's Forsell. And it's 13th game of Matt Holland, who caught everyone by surprise. Just squeezed. A bit of a collector's item, isn't it? But uh, I think you've got to give credit to the accuracy of the delivery. Because Parker was surrounded, uh, sorry, Matt that's Holland it. was surrounded. And... Oh, that's a dreadful kick. It's gone straight to Dugarry. Well, he delayed and delayed, he's blaming Stan Lazaridis. Here's Dugarry. And he played for that. Where the goals were coming from. He said. Now Dugarry. Lazaridis. Dugarry. Thought he has and... Lazaridis is going to be very important to Birmingham if he can maintain that width and provide some service. Lazaridis now, that's fine. Christoph Dugari, who has been received on the same wavelength as his teammates tonight. Good cross this time though for Sal. Dugari. For Sal. Let's match up to now. Been able to get things moving and put Charlton under any kind of sustain by Stephen Clemenson. It was on Lazaridis' left foot if he'd have wanted to try a shot. Dugaris cross. Done. Dugari. Cisse. The subject of player cam now switches to Birmingham's. Christoph Dugary to keep a closer eye on him, just press the red button on your remote. It's going to be difficult to pick a way through a massive yellow shirt. When the build-up is this slow, Charlton have lots of time to get back. Lazaridis got in front of the goalkeeper and got a touch to it. And Fish was in the right place. As they established that lead through Holland's header. And put under pressure by Stewart, and they're still under pressure. Dugar, Corsell. Here's Dugar. It's lovely quick feet, isn't it? Horidison is off, and Charlton have given away a free kick by a man light, remember. And here's Dugar. Deflected away by Perry. Well, what a time this would be to get the equaliser. It could be key here. Lazaridis' oh, corner. And the header was from Christoph Dugarry. Oh, they have looked dangerous for most corners. Birmingham players attacking the ball, and Dugarry did very well, and he just got a touch, didn't he? Of Mark Fish. Otherwise, that ball was on target. Upson. Dugarry. Here's Lazaridis. 
Well, after two goalless draws here, there has been a goal at St Andrews, but from Birmingham's point of view, when Birmingham's penalty claims were rejected, Birmingham go off shaking their heads, but they are trailing at the break here. It's Birmingham nil, Charlton one. Charlton looking for their third successive away win in the top flight for the first time in just short of 50 years. Done. Here's Dugarry. Charlton are completely happy with his condition. He's had five stitches in a T-shaped cup above his right eye. Chris Powell in reserve. Here's Dugarry. Now Cisse. First. Clements. Left by Dugarry this time for Dunn. Okay, he's got the look of the man who fancies this one. Dugary does fancy it. I was going to say I was surprised in some ways that Lazaridis wasn't going to be involved, and on reflection, maybe he should have been. Well, he apologises, Dugary, because that's well below his standards. A sloppy attempt, really, leaning back. Cantona at Manchester United, I'm sure there was some of that in Steve Bruce's thinking when he brought in Christoph Dugary, hoping that he would be the talismanic influence that would bring that element of surprise to his team. Well, you can't say it hasn't worked. You look at the second half of last season, and Dugary was absolutely magnificent. The ball was better, would have been dangerous. Now Dugary. Lazaridis. Jamie Clapper, left there. Well, he, he plays there enough anyway, coming in from the right-hand side. Here's Dugarry. As the readers wanted it, played through earlier. Dugarry in a good position, and it was, guess who, Scott Parker getting the all-important challenge. Dugarry. Here's Dunn. Going to play it in around the back of Horiderson, can Hughes keep it in? He couldn't. Dugarry. Here's Hughes. Dugar is head around the back for the deflection. And another corner. Well, it's about Dugar pulling away, and I think he's headed it into the back of the defender. Mark Fish, I think, deflecting it over. Zaridis tries his luck again. Dugarry! That's the lift that Birmingham needed. They're back in with a chance now. Well, exactly what Birmingham needed from the player they've been looking to the whole of the time they've been behind. He attacks this brilliantly with an absolute thumping header. Mark Fish, I think, was picking him up. But no chance, climbs very early. Look at his face, eyes on the ball, only one intention, he's going to make contact with this. Great leap, great header. Another goal from a corner. Here's Dunn. Dugarry. Fish. Christoph Dugarry has handed them a chance. Can Birmingham make the most of it now? Dugarry involved again. Here's Jamie Clapper. Tiddly. Dugarry! What a save! That was a magnificent stop from Kylie. Well, Christoph Dugarry cannot believe this. Believe this. It's point blank. And it's not straight at Dean Kylie. It's just to his left. And the... Dugarry. Taken away by Lazaridis in the end. Dunn links up with Dugarry. Who's there? Scott Parker. Offside here. Oh, because Brian Hughes has maintained a bit of width for Birmingham. Stretch Charlton's defence. Dunn's had a little bit more space in the middle. He's dragged them back into the match.
surprised that neither Forcell or Dugowie were sacrificed. Both looking dangerous still. Perry, and uh, again, because it is a blow to the head for Christophe Dugarry, he's uh, going to need instant treatment. He's got a smack in the mouth. He's saying it was an elbow. I think it was an honest challenge from Chris Perry. Dugarry came off worse. Hairband flew off there, you notice. <laughs> he's taken a knock. It's nothing to do with the head injury now, but he picked up in the first half. He's hobbling quite badly, Horidison. This could be tricky as they defend here. Morrison had got through, and it was Horidison who got him behind. Clock. On by Dugary. Now for Sal. Lazaridis departs. It's Clapham's corner. Dugary just jumped too early. And was uh, leaning on Horidison to try. Clements. Clapham. Dugarry. Still Christoph Dugarry. Fischer-Chef has given away the free kick. Much will now hinge on how much stoppage time is to be added. One or two Charlton personnel will be. This is in, but it's been the exact opposite, hasn't it? End-to-end -end stuff at times, and both keepers pulling out absolutely outstanding saves. Dugarry's cross, it. Morrison! Straight out the goal. And Irish eyes are smiling for Charlton tonight. Some wonderful saves from Dean Kiley have earned for them their third consecutive away win in the Premiership. And it was his former international team... ...we expected, but... Uh, it was fairly level, wasn't it, at half-time, although Charlton were... Birmingham 1, Charlton 2. This is how it affects things at the top of the Barclay Card Premiership this evening. Birmingham stay fourth, and Charlton moving up three places from 10th to 7th. No change, obviously, at the bottom.